Hi, I'm Andy, and in this video, we're going to show you how to turn this into this. What's up, YouTube? I'm Andy. And I'm Dad. And we're the father and son duo that love making secret stash furniture out of your local lumberyard. That's right. Um, we built a lot of furniture with lots of different little secret compartments and and uh, when we've had people look at these things they're like, wow that is cool. <laughs> and, um, it is. We, we have fun thinking that out and um, you know these, these secret compartments can you know hide things that you don't want other people to, to get to or um, just for fun. So our goal for this channel is to hopefully bring you one project a week um, on something that contains a, a secret compartment, like a bench, a stool, a table, a cabinet, something like that. Um, and we're going to try and do it as cheaply as possible, out of the cheapest stuff, uh, so you guys don't break the bank if you want to try it yourself. For today's project, we're going to uh, take some regular old 2x4 by, by 8 feet lumber, and we're going to make it look like it's made out of all 2x4, but inside is going to be hollow. And I'm going to show you how we do that. And first thing we do is we're going to uh, just build a bench that's going to be three feet wide or long and 18 inches wide. Okay. And I'm going to show you how we can make the top of the bench look like it's all two by fours. And uh, and then we'll go from there. We'll show you how that works. Yep. Let's get Sounds started. Good. Okay. We're going to just cut our our pieces to length. Uh, we need two three foot pieces uh, for the front and back of the bench and uh, two side pieces which will be 18 inches. Okay, the next thing you want to do once you get your pieces cut, is you're going to take your end pieces and you're going to want to uh, drill some pilot holes. Pilot holes need to be big enough for the screw to go through so they can tighten up against that piece. All right. Yeah, so one thing you're going to notice in a lot of our videos is that I do a lot of meager tasks and things that are very simple because I'm a simple man and, <laughs> and Dad has a lot of the knowledge in his head about this stuff so uh, he's going to have most of uh, the knowledge I guess and skill at a lot of the more complex tasks like drilling. Um, no, I'm kidding, I can drill. Um, <laughs> but that's just what you're going to expect. This lumber might be warped and bent and crooked sometimes, but there's ways of straightening it out. It's called brute force. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So there's our frame for uh, our bench. Now, here's, here's the trick. We're gonna cut the ends of the two by fours off, and then uh, we're gonna cut these strips that's a one inch, and we're going to lay them on here. We're going to glue them all together, and that's going to create a pocket back here. But it's going to look like the two by fours are laying across it. All right, that's the next thing we do. We're going to go over to the uh, table saw and rip some two by fours. All right, let's do it. Okay, now that we got our pieces cut to fit for our top, again we used a 2x4 and we just cut them about an inch and uh, we needed 12 of them to fit in for our top. Remember, we wanted to give it a look like the whole thing's made out of a 2x4s two, two across. All right, okay. um, and now we're going to do what we call a glue up. We're going to put glue in between these and we're going to glue this all together and we're going to use some bar clamps. So that's our next step. So we got to get some glue, some wet rags, and some plants. I'll get the rags. Yeah, 
Yeah, one thing we try to do in all of our projects is try and glue them all thoroughly because some people they just use screws or nails or something just to hold them down and a lot of times that doesn't work out and it doesn't hold up for a long uh, amount of time. So we really try to uh, glue all of our projects. I like that. You know, I really think this is a job I could be doing because it's a simple job, and as we stated earlier, I love simple jobs. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a safe job, and I like hey, that too. Yeah. So this is probably what I should be doing right now. No, <laughs> well, it's okay. That's okay. People like you know, a lazy what? person, right? You, you know, <laughs> as we make more videos, I hope to be sitting watching you do it too. You know, I do too. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. Okay, we just finished putting the clamps on and wiping up all the glue. The next thing we're going to do while we're waiting for this to dry is work on our legs. Let's go to, to it. Okay, now we're on to our next step after cutting the pieces for our legs. And we're going to be gluing and screwing these together and then we're going to be clamping them on this way uh, and we'll screw and glue that. Okay, so for the secret compartment uh, base, uh, we just had some old boards lying around that we had used on another project we were building. Um, and they all, don't all exactly add up to 50, well actually they do add up to 15 inches. Um, but all we're going to do is we're just going to glue them all together. Um, and once they're all glued together, we're going to run it through our planer to get it all nice and level. And this will be uh, the swing down uh, drawer section uh, of our bench. Yeah, and if you don't have a planer, you can use a belt sander. Uh, we want to try to get this as flat as we can so that it, it doesn't sit in our uh, underneath and look suspicious. Yeah, because you know people are always crawling underneath your furniture and looking yeah. at stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we just got done uh, letting our glue dry for our, our bottom part of our chest or our secret compartment. And, and here's our top, let's take a look at that. Um, and we just got to scrape some of the old glue off. Uh, we're going to cut this to size, to the, to the size of our, our, um, our base, to our seat. And we're going to go do that. We're going to probably run it through the planer. We got access to a planer and we're just going to knock this down a little bit and, um, and go from there. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so one thing that we did that we didn't show you uh, in the film there was after we planed it down to get it all nice and level, we uh, took it to the table saw and just kind of trimmed off about a quarter inch on each side of the board. Uh, that way it gives us a little play inside the box and it also helps when the uh, table swings down. So um, We positioned the hinges on this side and didn't get the action that we, we wanted to happen. And we realized that we're gonna have to put our hinges on this inside piece here. Uh, we left ourselves enough room to do that. Uh, we had to pull this piece back out and now we're just gonna remount these back on here. So go ahead and Let's drill those in, Wendy. All right. 
you want a little stiff, okay? Yeah, we can always sand out uh, anything in the back here. All right, so now, oh, so you, that's yeah. all you, you, <laughs> I got through with the screws. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the way we're gonna lock this mechanism is we're gonna use these uh, kind of like baby-proofing magnet locks. Uh, the way they work is, let me grab a key here, is these go on the inside of whatever it is you're trying to keep out of the child's reach. In this case, it's a burglar or whatever that you want. And when you bring it close, I don't know if you can see that, but the locking mechanism comes in and allows you to get in. So this is the key here. Um, so that's what we're going to be using. It's going to be uh, mounted next to this ramp, which will stop it. Um, we got these two pieces that Dad just chopped up. They're going to go right inside, right on the sides of the uh, cavity there. And they're going to help us maintain a flush bottom underneath from the outside. Now squeeze down there. Squeeze this. Go like that. Uh, let's see. <laughs> we accidentally found something out. <laughs> we just we got covered a, it we by We got it. another secret step. Yeah, so what the magnet do? will release it, but you gotta release the pressure on it. Yeah, so okay. the way this thing works is the magnet goes on the other side. And typically if it was loose, uh, the little latch up here would fold in. Uh, but the way to unlock it is you have to push up on this board, which is something we just invented, and once you push up, bam, it snaps okay. open. You probably couldn't right. see that. All right. So uh, in reality, these these magnets are made for childproof locks, like on cabinets in a kitchen or whatever, and they're not made to have weight on them, in a sense. But ours will. But now all we have to do is push up on this, and it'll unlock. So. Yeah. Okay, we're getting ready to put the fake two by fours in. And um, the trick is, is getting this to sit in here uh, nicely. It's flush? It, yeah, flush. Now that we have our pieces glued up and we sanded them down some, on the back side, we want to put some peaks on the seat so that it'll give it strength. We got glue holding this together. Now we want the seat to all stay together over time. So when people sit on it, it doesn't give away. So we're gonna do some pilot holes, put some glue on it, screw it, and get her, get her done. Get her done. All right, so up next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these cleats in. Uh, right across from this beam right here. I don't know if you can see any of this, uh, but we're gonna put some cleats right here and here across from this beam so it gives uh, the seat some more support uh, so it doesn't bow in uh, like Dad was talking about last time. So let's go. All right, so now that we got our um, seat in place, we're gonna take some of these uh, ripped two by fours, maybe route or something, put them along the edges as kind of like trim pieces to kind of hold the, or not hold, but hide the gap. Yeah. The small gap that's on the side so that you can't tell that it's hollow at all. So this will be just kind of some fancy trim. Makes it look nice and serves as a small function. Okay, so if you stuck with us this far, you can tell that this project requires a lot of ripping of 2x4s because we're trying to make it entirely out of 2x4s, um, except for obviously this right here. You could have if you wanted to, you could have done the same thing we did with the top, um, but right now we're going to, uh, here's these. Oh, um, right now what we're going to do is we're going to make some uh, rims right here to go along the edges. Uh, so that whatever you hide in there, um, don't come sliding out all the time. Yeah. 
Yeah, so if some of you guys are wondering about what the heck is this weird ledge right here, uh, we're just putting it there in case we want to separate things on our little shelf here. So, and also it helps us cover up some of these little seams right here. They're kind of ugly. When we attach these legs, we're gonna come from an angle and drill down here, and then we're gonna put two screws on the side. So we'll have four screws per that. And the way we made the leg is all the weight of the bench is going to be on this. And then we're going to um, put some runners in here to connect the legs together to stiffen it up. Okay, we got our bench, it's almost done. Um, this is the part that I like the best. Uh, I kind of like to look at it as, uh, I'm gonna paint this bench by wood burning it. And if you watch carefully, um, especially if we fast forward this, it'll look like we're, we're painting it as we watch it change color. We wanna bring the grain out in this wood. And that's the neat part about wood burning. So, uh, if you have never done it, it's good to get a piece and practice on it and get the idea for it. Uh, that's why when you pick this wood, it not show up really well. Um, it's just supposed to look rustic, okay? And um, if you're going to practice and you're going to try it out for the first time, do it on the back side or the bottom. So, because if you mess it up, um, it, you can correct it sometimes, but sometimes once you burn it, you either have to sand it all off and try to reburn it. So. Yeah. So no one likes looking at charcoal in their living room. <laughs> <laughs> There you have it. Um, it's just a bench, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, really kind of nice bench. Um, our cost was very limited. Uh, yeah. Mostly screws and two by fours. Yep. That's all we did. And we used, um, we used a couple um, scrap pieces around, um, just for like the ledges that you saw. Um, but other than that, yeah, it was just mainly made out of two by fours. Thanks for watching our video, guys. Uh, me and Dad, we really enjoyed uh, making this bench. It was a really fun project. Um, and if there's anything that you see that we could do better, like when we're designing our videos or just building in general, if we screwed up somewhere, which I know we did a lot, uh, just leave your comments down below um, and leave us your thoughts. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. Um, it's the first time we built this bench. And um, we, we thought of the design and we went at it and had fun doing it. And if you really liked our videos, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, we really appreciate it. And make sure if you really, really like our videos, uh, you get that bell on because we'll be dropping quite a few videos here in the next coming weeks and we don't want you to miss any of them. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thanks. So what we're going to do is use local uh, lumber stuff, real cheap, uh, as cheaply as possible, and show you how to make some neat furniture. Oh, I wasn't looking at <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. And Andy and my, you know, we've been working and, and building furniture for a long time. And Ron, we've... stop.
Oh, I'm dead. What'd you do? Oh, we get to that film? Yeah. You smoked it. In this video, we're going to show you how to make a secret compartment bench.